All right, so we're gonna see Tyroy and Monica versus um, Knight and Ally. Now, who sent them to losers? I believe it was Sturmy and Sheen. Yes, it was Sturmy and Sheen that took uh, that put Tyroy and Monica into losers' very first match. So, making a good losers run to me. Sham Battle Boys making that losers run. So um, they haven't played yet. I'm curious to see what will happen. It looks like uh, Tyra is going to want to stick to Meta Knight. I think it's wise for him to stick to Meta Knight because mm -hmm. from pretty much every set I've seen him play, mm -hmm. Sheik didn't work first round and then he switched to Meta Knight and, and it seemed a lot better. So I think that's going to be the better situation. I don't think he's going to want to go Sheik in this situation. Even though Sheik is his main, so far Meta Knight has worked out so much better for doubles for Tyroid, so don't don't, uh, don't fix what ain't broke. Exactly. Sometimes uh, sometimes you got a singles main, sometimes some characters are just better for doubles. Alright, here we go, game one, grand finals, E2C X, Poplar Creek Bowl. Ally going going in early on on the blue team Rosalina. Both teams rocking the, Ro the Rosalina main. Right, so. It's a very 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 interesting dynamic when you got two Rosalinas, two super floaty characters. Tyroid. Oh, oh my god! Ally just gets a raw spike. He's been working those. Doctor J, when did you get here? All right, so the jokes that me made earlier was, uh, is Ally the rebound Mario? If they're not, because that's not seeing what's in. Rebound like Mario, is that Dennis Rodman I see? Rebound Mario. All right, so Knight's just gonna get back, I'm sorry, Monash is just gonna get back, get, back, get, back, get back stage for free. But now he's gonna deal with Ally, that's not a good situation. Luma is out into an up from Knight, very nice, and he rakes him out of the combo with up B. That's what Mario is really good for in this matchup, it's just up B, and then the combo's over, Meta Knight can't get his up B. Up is coming out and Ally doing Ally doing a great job of uh, covering on Knight's landing. And I don't even know what's going on. Alright, so okay. Monica just lost his stock. Tyra is already down his stock, and uh Green Team's still sitting pretty at six. Okay, we got up here shenanigans going try to up. Trying, trying to give uh, Rosa a taste of her own medicine. Is it is it giving someone a taste of your own medicine if you are the same person? It's a possibility. Ooh, an up smash is going to take out Ally. Oh I'm sorry, take out Tyro. Alright, so now... Um, Ooh, raw forward smash from Tyro. It takes out Ally's first knock. Then we got four stocks of three, which is too bad of a disadvantage, but it's still not in a position that you uh, that you want to be in. But all Tyroid really needs is like an up air combo on a floaty person like Rosalina, and stocks will even out super quick. Knight has to do a much better job of keeping himself safe, and Ally needs to do right now a little bit of better job of covering for Knight whenever he needs to land against the Meta Knight. Nice little hop there from uh, Ally. He's uh, Tyro is picking to do a hop back, back and she rolls behind him. He just hops and grabs him. How can how do you know which Luma is yours? Uh, like, it's actually a tricky situation. I think, she, I think you just kind of press A and pray that it's you. Nice little grab release there. Oh wow! I don't even think that was a grab release. I think Ally just held him there for just like school bully style. That's true. Uh, Rosa does have a huge range in her up smash, so that might have been what it was. Especially with Luma out. And down smash is going to take out Tyroid stock. So it's so just now, Anonymous Moniker by himself against the green team. Not a very, very grave situation in the blue team right now. But it's only game one, of course. Nice. Well, now with the Lumas out, we got a three on two situation. Or two on, I don't know. There's Lumas, so it's three on two. Is, is, Tyro, is uh, Moniker's Luma thing gone, though? Oh my oh! goodness, he just came for the game. Go for the fair. He's going for the fair. Oh, he didn't get the fair. <laughs> Please. Oh my goodness. You gotta be super careful recovering high against Mario because he just has to press down B and you're dead. Alright, um, I'm gonna hop off and Ninjorf's gonna take over for me. Ninjorf! one way to get out of it. Oh god!
Alright. Here we go. Solo commentary from your boy Gian Cena. Commentating 2v2 grand finals between Ty Roy and Anonymous Moniker and Ally and Knight. Here we go. Game 2, Town and City. We're gonna see. We're gonna try and see kills off the top from both Rosalina, both Rosalinas and a Meta Knight. Especially on Town and City. We're gonna see. We're gonna we're gonna possibly see some up air strings. We're gonna probably see some ally edge guards. Holy moly, is he good at that? Ooh, great forward snap from Tyra right there. Recognizing Ally was not in a position to be able to dodge that forward smash from him, getting Ally to a decent percent, 47 percent. Not the greatest, but some percentage is better than none. Ooh, great time. Tyroy with a mix-up side to get back onto stage. Oh my goodness, Ally just kind of loving his recovery right there. What the heck just... <laughs> Tyroy! Oh, we saw a spawn up B and taken Knight from out of nowhere. RKO, whatever. I'm a wrestling fan. So blue team doing a much better job keeping the pressure up onto green team. I feel like that's what they lacked game one. Not enough pressure on the green team. Green team feeling like they were in a state of comfortability, which they were able to take game one handedly. Tyre needs to do a better job at <clears throat> not being hit by these errant, uh, not errant, these, just like these lasting, these lasting aerials, racking up 104% even right now, but Ally also at 104%. Ooh, up smash takes Tyroid to his final stock. We got these Mario combos going. Ally back throwing to these up airs from Knight. Let's see if... Ooh. Tyroid there trying to fish for an up B onto Ally, or even just Knight to rack up percentage right there, but an unsafe up B will lead to 53% onto your person. Ally timing that perfectly so that he would only hit Tyroi with that forward smash. Ooh, great down air for Anonymous Mocker. He's been looking for that this entire tournament to try and spike allies so that now two, three stocks of two, Tyroi's on 93%. Not, not what you want to see in this sort of situation right here. And there, oh my goodness! Moniker going crazy with these dares, taking it back to an even stock game. Oh my goodness, great awareness by Ally. Just great game sense, taking taking Tyroid out of the stairway to heaven with that up air. Anonymous Moniker, back in the 2v1 scenario we saw in game one. I feel like it's just a matter of time before we see some. Before we see a team combo to end it all, up air, up air, up air, up air, up B, just going up, never going down, never gonna let you down. Wow, that was a very interesting graphic right there. Nas Mocker using the down beat to kind of like swirl the water, swirl the flood so that he doesn't. Oh my God! What the heck is going on? Are they trying to go for this flood spike? And the Nair takes it. 2-0. Boreal Ally, GGA Knight, take Grand Finals at E2C, at Smash. At Smash at Poplar. Valiant effort from the Shambana crew.